Hello guys, we are now going to do the results analysis of this bridge type design. As you had seen before, we run our calculation. And the results were exceptional, splendid, very splendid. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you results output for each and every lot. Maps. This is for the deck analysis. As you can see, moments are pretty small, but as you change the loads, you see the values. That is six. That will give you an enforcement of uh, approximately four fifty square millimeters per meter. Go 33, very beautiful results, very, very beautiful. So, we have the KELs now. We are going to look for the bin for each and every single before we go into, into the combinations. So what I'm going to do, results, diagram with bus, moment, MY, apply, we go into parameters, apply, small moments very less as you can see so you see some loads gives you very critical moment others will be very very adverse system but now for this analysis we're going to design for the worst case scenario and we are going to assume that the deck is fully simply support on both sides that will give us the maximum design system for for this uh, bending system for those support system so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete yes and i'm going to have only those nodes i'm going to have this Apply simple system six four zero and eight plus and then I'm going to do my analysis for it. <coughs> now we have this system in place. Now what I'm going to show you next is how to change the meshing type. Go to complex delone advanced option change to delinear and can okay and then you re regenerate the meshing system okay as you can see the meshing system now it's much more closely spaced and much more representative of what you would expect in the system now I'm going to show you manual combination. A combination one is going to be ULS and ULS. I'm just going to show you. We'll be getting it from BS 5400 part two on table one. Using this table from this table, we'll pretty much be able to get all the load combinations you need. It's for gamma FL. And gamma F3. Okay. So in this case, okay, I'll take you back to the robot analysis for dead load one. You always see there's a dead load factor 1.0, 1.5. That's what you're going to do 
1.15 and gamma x-ray is usually 1.1 so here we're going to use be using gamma fls so take that superimpose dead loads for surfacing it's 1.75 and curves and other superimpose so in this case using 1.75 the hudl hudl going to go from the same close we're going to use a gamma FL of 1.5 and 30 units HB 30 units HB HB abnormal loading of HB will be using 1.3. So 1.3. The base chain load is going to be using an early uh, factor of 1.1.5. That will be eight. We'll be using a factor of 1.5. The knife edge, this will be a factor of 1.5. Okay, that will be pretty much for combination 1. But combination 1, we have to remember that we are simply going to be using different combination system as stipulated by the BS. So for combination one, I'm going to be excluding the HB loads. I'll show you why shortly. So that for this combination, we only have dead loads superimposed, HA loads, pedestrian, and the moving knife edge loads. So I will apply that. Then go to new for combination two, also ELS. For combination two, we are going to you apply this. That's one point one five. So it goes to one point one five. HA, I'm going to take for len one. L also for lane one. The days chain load. And I'm going to apply HB on lane two. Okay. HB. Calculate the value. Good. We check for the results. Combination one, combination two. Moment of sixty-four ninety-two. Okay. This is slug. The maximum hogs. But here we have a maximum hog at the edge. This one usually offset by providing for 
the diaphragm beams. So I'm just going to show you how to make diaphragm beams. We are going to use uh, K thousand fifty and plus I'm going to span it from one edge. Okay, so I have to define the offset system and call it offset three. change it right here there you go you see the beams are set downwards now now I'll run my analysis once again and check for the results data Combination one. There you go for combination two. Next, guys, I'm going to show you how to do the same same analysis in uh, for the beams. Moment MXX, moment MX1, combination one, apply forty nine point three nine, and we'll have this apply as a maximum moment, sub moment at that point. Next, guys. I'm going to show you the analysis for the beams. Now for the beams, come moment M1, apply. Can normalize parameters field, apply. There you go. See, we have some. Series of moments at that point. Combination two. These are the values. Okay. Now we are going to design for the beams. So you would select for the beam. Let me get rid of that. You come select the beam. Design. 
design option calculate you have this you first you want to be having results so for ULS you choose combination one combination one and two and then you calculate you select the thing Okay, we forgot to calculate. 